Good evening and welcome to the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse, where tonight WSM brings you the championship match of the 35th annual tip-off classic from Elida. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to do play-by-play -play alongside Mr. Evan Skilner. Evan, we got two teams, obviously winners last night, Shawnee and LCC, looking at an interesting matchup this evening. Yeah, very interesting, and two teams that had very different experiences last night. Shawnee had to claw from behind and, and have ended up winning a close game. LCC, they were up front and, and really led the whole time. So it'll be interesting to see how these two teams come out, but I'm really looking forward to seeing two Lima Land teams go up for this championship. Let's look at our, our Lima Chevrolet Cadillac area uh, keys to the game. Serving Limer for 100 years, and we are proud to call this home. How about keys to the game tonight for the Shawnee Indians? Well, first off, Shawnee needs to get out to a quick start. Last night, down 17 at one point in the first half, able to climb back in, able to win that game, but they really made it hard on themselves. This LCC team is one that will be able to put them away if they get out to a big lead, so the Indians have to start quickly and make sure to stay with this T-Bird team. The second thing is limit threes. LCC moves quickly, but they also went 7 of 17 from outside yesterday. And so Shawnee just needs to make sure they're guarding on the perimeter, moving quickly, closing out quickly, and making it tough on LCC to get good looks. Uh, Elida was uh, defeated by Shawnee last night, 53-49. But on the other side, LCC had a, a much easier win, 53-31 over the Bath Wildcats. How about a Lima Chevrolet Cadillac keys to the game for the T-Birds? Well, the first thing is going to be to limit the Burt keys. And how I know on here it says a singular Burt key. And, <laughs> you know, Beckett, the sophomore, had... 18 points yep. last night, but his younger brother, Trevick, who's taller than him at six foot five, he's a freshman, he scored eight. So between the two, they had 27 of the 53 the Indians scored last night. So LCC has to key on the two big guys for Shawnee that can do a lot of damage from all over the court. And then secondly, they've got to utilize momentum. LCC's pace and ability to shoot gives them the ability to go on deep runs, but Shawnee showed last night they can go on runs themselves. So LCC has to make sure if they have some momentum that they hold on to it that they keep their foot on the gas and that they keep these Indians out of it. Well, you know what? Uh, Nick Berkey, the coach at Shawnee, and obviously the dad of, of Trevor and, and his brother Beckett, they're not 6'5 and 6'4. I stood beside those guys. Those guys are 6'6 six, six anyway right yeah, now. Yeah, you're right. And that's you're the last right. time I'm going to do that to Nick this year. Those guys are big kids and very talented kids. This has been our Lima Chevrolet Cadillac uh, premier uh, sponsorship this evening for our keys to the game. want to thank them for doing that. They are the Lima Chevrolet Cadillac dealer in Greater Lima, Ohio, for over 100 years and proud to call this area home. Starting lineups and opening tip coming up after this. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Elida Fieldhouse where the presenting sponsor tonight is State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit your statebank.com, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Let's get to our starting lineups this evening. First of all, for the visitors on the scoreboard this evening, that would be the Shawnee Indians. They will go with number zero, Trevor Berkey. 6'5", freshman. Number two is Nick Pichon, 6'3", senior. Number four is Dominic Lynch. He is a six-foot senior. Number 23 is Beckett Berkey, 6'4", sophomore. And number 34 is Alex Goldsberry. He is a 6'3", senior. For the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds and Coach Sean Powell, they will start number zero, Jack Neiman. He is a 5'10", senior. Number one, Willie Foster, a 6'1", sophomore. Number two, Carson Parker, 6'4", senior. Number five, Damar Foster. He is a 5'10", senior. And number 14, Billy Burke, a 6'6 senior. LCC defeated Bath last night, 53-31. They were led in scoring last night by, by Parker Judy, who had 13. Jordan Pretty had 10. Both of those will be coming off the bench this evening. And Shawnee got here by defeating Elida, 53-49. They were letting scoring by Nick Burke. He had 18. 17 of those came in the second half. Nick Pichon had 13. Trevor Burp, Burp Trev. Trevick Berkey, I'm going to get this right, Evan. <laughs> they had nine points for them last night. Championship matchup, Evan. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. There's a lot of size out there, especially for Shawnee. But, hey, Carson Parker at 6'4", that's not small by any means. And Billy Burke standing up there probably around 6'5", as well. You see him standing right next to Trevick Berkey with about <laughs> the same length, and both of them right around 6-5. Trevor Berkey had nine points, six boards, three assists, and three steals in his first varsity game as a freshman last night. And he will tip the ball into the backcourt, and it will go into the hands of Nick Pichon. Nick turned an ankle last night, was able to complete the basketball game. 
Glad to see he's able to get on the floor this evening. Sometimes those things tighten up on you after setting out for 24 hours. This is Beckett Berkey, and he's going to work in the lane, and it rolls out. Burke gets the rebound. Good defense right there from Parker. Did a nice job staying with Berkey and using that 6-4 frame to get a hand up and make that shot tough. Damar Foster into the lane. His shot rolls out. And this will be Beckett Berkey with the rebound. Shawnee in the black uniforms. Lima Central Catholic in the white ones this evening. Number four is Dominic Lynch and is tipped out of bounds by Willie Foster. Got to be strong with the ball if you're Shawnee. This LCC team likes to reach in, knock the ball away. They're really quick, and they're kind of deceiving when they go in there and try to take it away. Kind of nice to see DeMar Foster back on the floor. He's missed the last two years with two ACLs, and he still has a brace on that left leg, but glad to see he's able to play his senior year. Here's Pichot who's going to go up and go off glass and miss. Big battle for the rebound. Goldsberry's down the floor along with a couple of different T-Birds. And the arrow will favor LCC. First year coach Sean Powell coaching the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds. State championship at Botkins uh, three years ago. A couple of years with the Bath Wildcats and now here at Lima Central Catholic. Always has the freshest looking coaching staff in the area. Jordan jumpsuits with the Jordan shoes on. There's Billy Burke inside. He goes off last and has the first basket of the game. Two points and four boards for him last night. He's matched that uh, offensive output in this game already. Here's Pichot. Gets it knocked away by DeMar Foster. Lob pass is batted away. Dominic Lynch climbed the ladder, tips it to Burke. And was he out of bounds? Trying to save the basketball in the corner was Beckett Burke. They're going for a big one right there as well. The fans yeah. all got up as big number one, Willie Foster, came flying in on the left side. Willie, the 6'1 sophomore brother to DeMar. This is DeMar with the basketball here. A four low look for LCC here. Taking their time. Things set. Comes Burke, catch the ball at the high post. Carson Parker came off the screen and was taken away by Beckett Berkey. It's nice when your 6'5 guy can bring the ball down the floor consistently like Berkey, especially as a freshman. It's going to get an illegal screen will be set. That was done so by Trevick Berkey. And he will get the first foul of the quarter. Our first quarter night is sponsored by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. Two minutes in, it's two for LCC. Shawnee not yet on the board. Damar Foster mm. rolls it in off the glass. A nice basket right there. That gather was fantastic. Kind of changed pace with the gather and made the defense a little off balance so he could get that ball up and in. And under really good defensive pressure, Trevick Berkey drops the basketball out of bounds. Here's the instant replay of. Well, yes, this is yes, instant, instant replay, replay, but from a different game. We're going to get a timeout. We're going to take a break. It's a Metzger Financial Services timeout, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Back in a moment, watching high school basketball, WOSN. We're back at the United Fieldhouse. It's been a timeout by uh, Shawnee, and they're going to get a steal on the, in, on the uh, attempted backdoor cut. Dominic Lynch will try to get the basketball over midcourt against Willie Foster. Shawnee pestered right now by the LCC defense. They need to get something going toward the basket. Right now, the T-Bird's not letting them penetrate inside. Goldsberry with the basketball. They have to bring it all the way back on top. This is Pichon under pressure and eventually causes a turnover. Great defense. And it's stripped out of bounds. Who did it go off of? Well, down there, generally, it goes off of the offense when the Defense reaches in and knocks it straight down, but that time referees saying it is 
T-Bird basketball under the basket so as they send in three subs. Yeah, Matthew Quatman will check in. So will Angelo Collins. He wears number 23. And I'm not sure the third sub was in. We'll catch number three checked in. Parker Judy at 13 points last night in a reserve role. DeMar Foster pull-up jumper. Swooping in to grab the rebound was Carson Parker. He's going to draw a foul and two shots. Parker so athletic. The fantastic quarterback for the T-Birds looking at some colleges to play football. But right there soaring up on the basketball court to grab that rebound and Trying to tip in, doesn't go, but he does draw the foul, and he'll have two free throws here. Our free throws tonight are sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. So our first two free throws tonight. Carson Parker had four points and five boards last night. He did not get to the free throw line. That's saved in bounds on a nice play by Alex Goldsberry, and will be still stay at 4-0. Shawnee not able to get on the board against this very good defense from the Thunderbirds. And we're going to get a travel. That one was forced by Matthew Quatman. Indians just not taking care of the basketball right now. This is a look on the side, and just going out of control right there is Dominic Lynch, and that's kind of a... An unforced error as he drives that back, drags that back pivot foot, excuse me. Tamar Foster heads to the rim. This will be a shot by Parker Judy out of the corner. He was three for four from the outside last night and starts out one for one tonight. It's 7 0 T Birds halfway drive. through the quarter. Pardon me, Mark. Great drive to the basket, drawing the help and able to kick it outside for the open look. They say, occupy the defense, occupy the defense, go at defenders make the help come over and someone else is going to get open Parker Judy gets the first a Thunderbird foul inbound Pashone. this is Dominic Lynch Pashone came off a couple of screens Beckett Berkey wants to load up and can't because of Carson, Carson Parker's defense and I thought he got knocked away from behind. We had to wait for the official's call. Back into the game is Willie Foster. Parker's played some great basketball so far today. No points, but he's done a really nice job playing defense, getting big rebounds, making it tough on these great young Shawnee players. Travick Berkey. A pair of fours matched up with each other, Quatman and Lynch. Trevick Berkey's three-point shot comes up short. Willie Foster rebounds. Ball came out of his hand funny. Yeah, it did. Three missed by Quatman. Trevick Berkey rebounded it. And now Brother Beckett. Remember, folks, sophomore and freshman playing for Shawnee, both 6'4". Plus. Plus, yes, thank you. <laughs> It's Goldsberry on top. They swing it around. Beckett Berkey step back three, short. Pashone tried to get the rebound, but it ends up in the Thunderbirds' hands. A lot multiple substitutions waiting at the scores table, and we're going to get a double dribble. We'll go against Willie Foster. Yeah, Foster tried the hezzy, he tried to fake a shot and get the defense to bite, but right there just got his hand underneath the basketball and got called for the carry. Shawnee brings in number 24, Max Goldsberry, and also number 14, Tate Bender. The T-Bird subs have been in the basketball game before. LCC has played eight. Shawnee has played seven so far. Still haven't seen Shawnee get a good look close to the rim. Settled for a couple Berkey off Berkey works jumpers. into the lane. That was Beckett Berkey gets his team on the board. Took him almost six minutes to do so. As Collins was in the corner. Now Neiman. Nice move from him. Shot won't go. Rebound, Trevick Berkey. Dominic Lynch. 
Goes inside, goes off glass. Shawnee has scored on back-to-back -back possessions. And they've played good enough defense to keep LCC to just seven, so those two quick buckets get them right back to within three. It has been a defensive battle so far. Willie Foster throws it to DeMar Foster. Pull up jumper from the foul line. That was pretty. Not sure how you guard that. Nice job by DeMar Foster showing off some quickness. Little jab to the left, got open space and rose for the jumper. That's against a tall defender as well. 9-4, working inside. Pass goes cross court. Who hit it out of bounds? Looks like Angelo Collins did so. Another Indian sub. This will be number five. Matthew Stiles will enter the basketball game. A lot of size on the opposite side for Shawnee. Goldsberry pull up jumper from 17. That one goes for Max Goldsberry. 9-6. I like that shot from Goldsberry. I like the way he got his feet set. He caught that ball backward and didn't really have a good look at the basket, but he got his feet set, turned, and fired, able to score. Our instant replays that are sponsored by Four Season Tees, offering over 750 high-definition championship pro, pro courses. Book your tee time today at 567-712-2040. Wild pass, and Shawnee will get the basketball back with 60 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Yeah, Bert key on this and near. And we're going to get an illegal screen. I think that's going to go against Max Goldsberry. And it does on the turnover, and that will allow the Thunderbirds with 48 seconds to go. Our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, and in St. Mary's. Throw that one will splash in. See what Shawnee does, trying to get last possession, trailing by four. Skip pass. Pichon works the lane. Back to Berkey goes inside, and he loses the basketball. Beckett had Trevick in the corner wide open, and you see the two brothers, Beckett yeah. didn't make the pass. Trevick got a little irritated at him on the way down the court. Willie Foster was trying to get to the rim when he lost possession of the basketball, and Shawnee will get it back with .7 to go. This is where you, where you just hurl it toward the basket and hope that the 6'5 Berkey can get up and put it in. Dominic Lynch throws it down here, and... Carson Parker is the one who ends up with the reception. After one, Thunderbirds 10, Indian 6. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Elida Fieldhouse where tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Mark Schein, Evan Skilleter. Evan, that's a defensive quarter right there. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams doing a great job. Shawnee using their length. LCC using their quickness to make sure neither team gets a good look at the basket. For Shawnee, they haven't really seen much inside. They got a basket at the 
rim by Dominic Lynch, but past that, everything's kind of been outside at the perimeter. Shawnee just trying to move it around and find some seams, but LCC not giving them anything. Shawnee has baskets from Dominic Lynch, Beckett Berkey, and Max Goldsberry. Four points for DeMar Foster. Three other T-Birds have scored in the opening quarter. And we are to quarter number two. Beckett Berkey, who wears 23. And they headed out front. This will be Dominic Lynch. Beckett Berkey to the rim, and we're going to get a foul. It will be a shooting foul for Beckett Berkey. Nice shot by Berkey getting Parker on his hip, getting to the basket, absorbing some contact. Carson Parker picks up the foul. This will be a Web Insurance Agency free throw, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Berkey was three for five last night. He makes his first effort this evening. Three points for him and a lot of hard work. He's been hounded by Parker this evening. And good rotation on that one. He's got four points in the game. And it's 10-8. Damar Foster setting the T-Birds up. Looking inside, has to give it up to Carson Parker out top. I like the patience from the T-Birds, but they can't make passes like that. Just unforced errors. DeMar Foster for three, bounces short, but it comes out to Carson Parker, who goes to the rim, and Burke ends up with it, and Billy Burke finishes and one. That was a strange broken play right there. I don't know. We're going to get a look at the replay. Oh, that ball was lost by Parker in the air, off of Burke's head, back to Parker. It's LCC, and then... Not a good defensive play from behind by Lynch there as he fouls the shooter. Didn't really have a good look or play on the ball. Billy Burke makes his first free throw effort of the season. Has five points now, which is the lead his team has. This is Dominic Lynch. He just committed that foul a moment ago. It was his first. Three ball will miss by Tate Bender. DeMar Foster heads the other way. This is Tamar Foster in the corner for three. And he got oh, loose by what? Did he step out of bounds? I am not you know, sure I, there's I no think foul I do, call. I think I do know what happened. You are not allowed to leave the floor to, ah. to improve your position, and I think that's what he did. I think he ran out of bounds to get that pass. Good eyes, Mark Shine. I'm, I'm guessing. I'm, you know, they're 94 feet away from us. I think that's what the call was. Hard to believe those eyes are 60 years old. How many? 60. Thanks. Thank you, pal. That's a good You're That's welcome. a good sign. Thank you. Here's Trevick Berkey to the rim and finishes with a left hand, his first basket of the evening. Great job using his body right there to get his defender, Jake Neiman, off of him. Got a little bit of space and used those arms to get it as close to the basket as he could before flipping it in. Three ball bounces around. Burke ba battles for the rebound, but Dominic Lynch gets it in the corner. And Dominic will bring it up. Bender. Working against Burke. Back at Berkey, good first step, but Carson Parker did a good job defending that. Here's Trevick Berkey. Every time Shawnee gets inside, LCC does a nice job at the rim, making sure they don't get any easy looks, forcing everything away from the basket. Dominic Lynch wanted to step back, shoot it, and couldn't. Bender trying to get to the rim, and he can't. So it's just a great defensive effort by both teams. Well, and what's great is that even the big guys for both teams are able to move, right? So a guy like Billy Burke standing 6'5", 6'6", when he can guard on the perimeter and inside, that's such a weapon. Beckett Burke, he had to take a fall away jumper that time because of the defensive pressure. Billy Burke brings it down. And it's going to be two on Dominic Lynch. And the fifth, oh, sorry, the second against the Indians. That is correct. I want to thank our instant replay sponsor tonight. That is Four Season Tees, offering over 750 high definition championship pro courses. Book your tee time today at 567 712 2040. 
We're waiting to get the ball in bounds. It will remind you the second quarter is brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, and we are proud to call this home. So we're three minutes into that second quarter. Here's Tamar Foster. Trying to get some position inside is Angelo Collins, the sophomore forward, just checking into this game. Looking inside. That's Collins with the ball there. Back and down, back and down, back and down. Can't get a shot off. And I do not know what the call is. I, it's going to be a baseline out of bounds for Lima Central Catholic. I'm not sure why the play was stopped. I don't know if anyone's quite sure what happened. Either way, the ball gets lobbed in bounds to Collins. And Carson Parker tries to get to the rim. He uses his left hand. And that rebound comes in to uh, Damalo Ojo, who I missed coming into the basketball game a moment ago. Good hands by Parker. Again, making life miserable for Beckett Burke on the perimeter. Pichon, who got back in the game. His shot's blocked out of bounds. It's Angelo Collins. Great job coming off the bench and making an impact in this game in the second quarter. Halfway through the quarter, it's 13-10, LCC. Berkey and lost the basketball out of bounds. He and, he and Carson Parker have been going at it, haven't they? Yeah, and you know what? Carson Parker has worked so hard in this game. Coach is going to take a timeout here. But Carson Parker, fantastic job defensively on a tough assignment. LCC timeout. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. If you're watching high school basketball, WOSN. We're back at Elida. We have had only one three-point field goal this evening. Our three-point sponsor is 20th Century Lanes. There's something for everyone at 20th Century Lanes, a proud supporter of all Lima area athletes. That timeout went to Lima Central Catholic. As Coach uh, Sean Powell took that timeout. Only the first one he's used in this one, probably just a chance to get his team a breather. They're working really hard offensively and especially defensively, moving around against a team that is moving the ball quickly around the perimeter. Really, Shawnee hasn't gotten good looks, but they've ran good offense. They're working the ball around the perimeter. They haven't turned it over a ton. They just can't get any looks against this tough defense. Calling timeout halfway through quarter number two has become a trend in the Northwest Ohio basketball, and that's what Coach Powell just did. That ball is stolen away by Beckett Berkey, but back again to Carson Parker. Here's Foster's shot. Three-point field goal. Willie Foster is on the board this evening. That's a 20th Century Lanes three-point field goal. Foster went 0 for 2 last night, but that one looked nice as it found the bottom of the net, his first points, and a six-point lead. Doubled the lead. Trevick Berkey tries to answer and cannot hit the strap up above as his shot rebounded high. Matthew Quatman will enter. LCC going about three deep on the bench here in the third, or excuse me, the second quarter. But they have substituted liberally here as they're working so hard defensively. A lot of tired legs out there, especially early in the year. Willie Foster worked in the lane. This is Willie again, and now they swing it around to Carson Parker. Burke sets a screen for him. Parker pull up jumper from 15, but it's a little hard. Rebound, Shawnee. It's a good looking shot, almost found its way to the bottom. Berkey tries to go to the rim and gets called for an offensive foul on Beckett. Berkey, that's his a second foul. It's a good call right there. Got that shoulder lowered right into Carson Parker, who's in great position as he has been most of the evening. Two points, two fouls. Beckett Berkey this evening. Actually, he's got four points, I believe. You know the scoreboard. That does have him for four does. Now, they have him for just one foul and have his brother with two. So one of us has made an error here. Yeah. Well, that's not – that wouldn't be a first for me. Uh, or me either. I've made so an error. Either way, 
We'll have to keep track of that one because that's kind of a crucial situation. Here's Billy Burke to inbounds, and he will throw the basketball to Willie Foster. Foster off a screen. Here comes Burke to set a screen for him. Bounce pass inside, and surrounded by Shawnee Indians, will get a held ball. The presenting sponsor tonight is State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit statebank.com, a member of FDIC, equal housing lender. Arrow says it stays with the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds. And the inbounder will be Parker Judy. Assist. Carson Parker finds Willie Foster, who now has two threes in the quarter. Too easy right there from Shawnee defensively. Parker just had to tip it out to a wide open. Willie Foster now has two of those. Does does uh, Carson Parker have a history of passing the ball to people? You know, he seems to be able to find the open man. He does. And right back at you comes a three ball from Trevick Burkey. Back-to-back 20th century lanes, three-point field goals. This one pulls Shawnee to within six. And we're going to get an illegal screen. Billy Burke stuck a leg out. Yeah, and he, that's really on the ball handler right there as he left a little bit early. you got to let the guy come out and get into position to set the screen before you go. If you go too early, you're going to get that offensive foul called, as you saw there. Billy Burke, five points now, has a single foul in the basketball game. Three on Shawnee, two on Lima Central Catholic in the quarter. Parker's going to get a break here, so we'll see if Shawnee can take advantage of having him on the bench. He's got Quatman guarding him, and he goes right around him and missed the shot, though. Quatman gambled on a steal, didn't get there. Foster goes to the rim. A reverse layup, that was a wonderful move. He got fouled and hence missed the shot. So quick, you see him right there, just a little hesitation. He goes through the legs. Looks like he's going to swing it back to the right side, but instead he sees the defenders off balance and he takes the lane to the left, drawing the foul. Max Colberry picks up his second foul, and Willie Foster will go to the free throw lane. He was one for two there last night. He's got a pair of three-point field goals this evening. And he makes his first Web Insurance Agency free throw. Seven points for him. He leads all scorers in the basketball game. Had five points last night. That one bounces out, and the rebound comes to Max Goldsberry. As we approach 90 seconds to go before halftime. Mismatch inside if they can yep. get it there. And they're trying to lob it inside, but it got held. Not a bad play there. Yep. Berkey had good position and the size advantage on Quatman. So Quatman grabs him. I don't know if it was intentional, but he should say it was because it was a good play. And it's only three team fouls. Right. So as that's a really good play. Back in Carson Parker. Short break, and he goes right to Beckett Berkey. Trevick Berkey will inbound. And finally get into bounds, and we're going to get a technical foul. Let's see who that goes against. They're going to get Carson Parker right here. And Parker, you know what? When you're up against a guy like Beckett Berkey, you're going to look on the replay. You couldn't really see what happened there, but you have to play with a fire. You have to play with an edge, and sometimes that leads you to go a little bit too far. So as hard as Carson Parker has worked, he has to be careful not getting too into this game and making mistakes like that. And so you'll see... Coach Powell's going to take him out, let him cool down just a bit. But that's the game you play when you have to get that amped up to guard a really good opponent. Well, it's also his second foul here in the opening half. So Beckett Brook is going to get a pair of free throws, and then Shawnee will get the basketball out of bounds. Fifth point for him. Both teams with four fouls as well, which is the limit. And now six, and Shawnee basketball out of bounds. Could be a four or five point play here at 20 to 15, T-Birds. Beckett with six, Trevick with five. We're gonna see this for a long time from Shawnee.
This is Trevik Berkey. Goldsberry looking for some way to get loose and cannot. Parker Judy now has Beckett Berkey helps behind from Collins. Good defensive play by Parker Judy, and we're going to get a travel call that's going to go against Beckett Berkey. Good hustle right there from the T-Birds. Ball knocked away. Good hand from Parker Judy, and then Judy dives for the ball, as does Berkey. Berkey got possession but fell and slid. We've had four three-point field goals in the opening half. Our three-point sponsor tonight is 20th Century Lanes. There's something for everyone at 20th Century Lanes, a proud supporter of all Lima area athletes. Here comes Carson Parker back into the game. I think this might be last possession. They want to get some offense in. Of course, he has those two fouls to be careful of right here. If Shawnee can get the basketball, they might think about slowing down and trying to get him into his third foul. But they've got to get the basketball first. And it looks to me as though DeMar Foster says, we are going to take the last shot of half number one. His team leads by five in the championship game of the 35th annual Elida Tip-Off Classic. Isn't it great to have it back again after last year? We had some disruption because of football success, and we wasn't quite played in the same manner it has been before. Certainly we wish success to football teams, but it's nice to have this back too. Absolutely. And Shawnee out to guard here late. Foster pull up jumper. Nope. Battle for the rebound, and who got it? Shawnee ball, but the ball mm. now dead, so a chance for them to check yeah. Parker out of this game. Three offensive players for Coach Triplett, a defensive player for Coach Powell. And while we got a minute, Coach Berkey and is a Marion local graduate. Congratulations to the Flyers, a 14th state championship in 26 years today. Down in Canton at the Pro, at Pro Football Hall of Fame and Division Seven state champions. Evan. When's the last time they lost a game? They lost a game in 2021 to New Bremen. Oh, I the had year, that one. The year New Bremen won the state championship. Okay. Yeah. That was a long time ago, that? Mark. A lot yeah. of football between now and Is that 48 no? 48 no now? Is that where they're at? Something Congratulations. Like anyway, let's see what the black shirted Shawnee Indians do with this last possession for them of half number one. Trevick Burke is going to come off a screen, pull up for three. It bounces around. No. And the rebound goes flipped inside, and the basket ends up into the hands of Alex Goldsberry. Here's a throw off the sh it's off. Big play for Shawnee. Kind of a sloppy play by Lima Central Catholic. Either way, Shawnee will cut it to a three-point deficit half. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're completing halftime here at the Union Bank Court at the Elida Fieldhouse. LCC with a 2017 lead over Shawnee. Mark Shine, Evan Skilleter. Evan, you've got a stat page in front of you. What kind of numbers jump off the page at you? Well, first of all, Shawnee's turned the ball over 13 times. They only have one assist. That's not a good assist to turnover ratio. Now, a lot of that has to do with LCC defending so well around the perimeter and the shots that Shawnee has been able to get are really 1v1 situations where they're able to beat the defender. Otherwise, I mean, they're, they're pretty even across the board. Shawnee able to score there at the end of the half to get this uh, game to within three on kind of a broken play, one of those where, look, in hindsight, he wouldn't throw that ball right. again, right, if, if yep. that were to happen again. But ultimately, it's a basket from Shawnee. Gets him back to within three. It's a defensive battle. It's really fun to watch two teams go at it like this, yep. two teams that I, I think they get along well. It's just they are competitors, and they want to win. Shawnee has quarter scores of 6 and 11 for their 17 points. They're led by Beckett Berkey with six points. Trevick Berkey has five. On the other side, Lima Central Catholic, quarter scores of 10 and 10 for their 20. Willie Foster has seven. DeMar Foster has four. Billy Burke has five. And it will be Shawnee basketball to start half number two. Our sponsor this evening is Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. They have been our free throw sponsor this evening. Where Shawnee is four for four. Lima Central Catholic is three of seven. Shawnee basketball. Hey, good to see Frank Kill at halftime, the yeah. longtime LCC coach. Now here doing some radio work, watching the T-Birds from a different seat. 
Actually going to do some games for us this winter, too, as Dominic Lynch goes to the rim, and 16 seconds in, we're going to get a foul. Let's see here. They call that against Willie Foster. That's only his first. And as long as we have time, the scoreboard, hint, is surprise, correct, and I was wrong. Trevick Berkey does have two fouls, and Beckett a single foul as Lynch makes the first free throw. He shot a lot of free throws last evening. He was only three for eight. He's one for one tonight for three points. And that bounces around into the hands of Jake Neiman. And Neiman goes length to the floor and can't finish. And Lynch rebounds. Two-point game. Shawnee can take their first lead of the game if they splash a three here. Pashone gives it up. Won't be easy, though. Nothing's been easy against oh. this T-Bird defense. Defense has been the name of the game this evening. Backdoor cut. Lynch gets it blocked by Burke, but we're going to get a foul and more free throws, more web insurance agency free throws. This quarter is sponsored by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home. And right back to the free throw line goes Dominic Lynch. Burke asking the referee what he did right there, but really it was a good defensive play. It was a good job sliding over and help. He was just a little bit late to get to where he wanted to be. So when he jumped up, he was just floating a little bit to his left. Billy Burke's second foul of the evening, and likewise second foul of the half for Lima Central Catholic, and we are tied. Three for four from the free throw line to start this half for Dominic Lynch. And all tied up. See how LCC responds. It was all T-Birds early. This is DeMar Foster. He works himself to 12 feet away. Burke was battling for the rebound with a couple of Indians, and I think Beckett, Berkey, knocked it out of bounds. Inbounding will be DeMar Foster. And they lob it out front and miss connections with Willie Foster. To the rim, Pashone blocked. But right there to clean it up is Beckett, Berkey, Shawnee with a lead. Good team transition bucket right there. The entire Shawnee Indian offense Got to the rim, crashed the boards. Not a good layup, but a great cleanup job there by Beckett. Evan, we are just 90 seconds into this, but I saw Shawnee do this last night with Elida. That shot misses. But Park, uh, Carson Park gets his own rebound, goes to the rim, and finishes with a strong move. Yeah, he might have been hit on the arm right there, too. Great athletic finish by Parker to tie this one back up and now hustling back on defense, not able to knock it from behind, but it will stay with the Indians. That's Carson Parker's first basket of the evening. His contribution tonight has been a solid defensive effort. Pashone inbounds. That's stolen. Nope. Thought it was, but instead it was tipped back into the hands of Berkey. And who gets the foul? Carson Parker, number three against Parker. They might have to sit him. Coach Powell not happy. With Parker, I don't think he disagrees with the call, but now he has to take his best defender out of the game. Angelo Collins heads in to replace him. Let's see how the matchup goes, though. And it's three quick fouls against the T-Birds here in the first two minutes of this quarter. Yeah, we've not, uh, yeah, haven't, haven't played two minutes. That's correct. Three fouls already. Collins does go to Beckett Berkey. Trevick Berkey lobs out front. Now we'll see if Shawnee can take advantage of Parker being on the bench. Dominic Lynch directing traffic. They try to post up Beckett. He's got the ball down low. Under pressure, Lynch soars in and gets the rebound and will draw another foul. Probably not the shot they want from Burke. A little bit off balance, fading away from the basket against two defenders, but a great job inside by Lynch. He's about to shoot free throw four and five, excuse me, five and six of this quarter. That foul went to Willie Foster and is his second, and there's four already. So Shawnee on every defensive foul against the T-Birds will head to the free throw line for two. 
Our presenting sponsor tonight is State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit your statebank.com. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. That one missed. Lynch is four for six from the free throw line. His team leads by one. And Collins goes right to the rim. It's stripped away by Lynch. He's having a really good quarter. He is. Great job stripping that one away. He's working the lane. Going to pull up jumper. Off the rim. Rebound Collins. And somebody fouled him. They're going to get Lynch. And that's going to be number three against Dominic Lynch. You'll see right here he misses the shot. Then on the rebound just tries to reach in to grab it away and gets Neiman on the arm. That will bring Tate Bender in to replace Dominic Lynch, who had a really good two-and-a-half-minute spell here for Shawnee and helped him get this one-point lead. Tamar Foster jogs up the left side of the floor. And he works the lane, kick out, Collins for three, got it. 20th century lane, three-point field goal, Angelo Collins. It's a good look right there. I really love the drive, occupying the, def the help defender. And Beckett Berkey, offensive rebound, his brothers miss, and will go to the free throw line. Our three-point sponsor tonight is 20th Century Lanes. There's something for everyone at 20th Century Lanes, a proud supporter of Lima Athletics. The foul went to Angelo Collins and will put Beckett Berkey at the free throw line where he is a perfect four for four. And now five for five, he's got nine points. LCC and Willie Foster trying to sneak back into the corner <laughs> right in front of us, but Shawnee sees him as Bender comes back to defend. Beckett Berkey becomes a double-figure scorer with 10, and we're tied at 25. DeMar Foster pull-up jumper, yes. That pull-up jumper is so good right there from Foster. We've seen a couple of those tonight. He's just so quick. As soon as he finds space, he elevates quickly and fires off a shot. Quick release and able to find the bottom of the net. Goldsberry's three doesn't go. Rebound effort inside by Bender. His shot short. Here comes Willie Foster who took one extra step. Yeah, it's a good, good call from the referee. He took two steps and then picked up that back foot, which is the pivot foot. It wasn't a full step, yep. but he picked up the pivot foot. Did you think he wanted the Euro step, but he was too deep? I thought he might have got behind the glass and couldn't pull off his Euro step move. Yeah, I think sometimes when you're in that Euro step, you might be a little bit off balance, and when that shot isn't there, there's nowhere else to go but to pull that foot up. Trevik Berkey goes all the way to the baseline and throws it back out front. Pichon for three. Bender tipped it, but I think he tipped it out of bounds. Tate Bender. Pichon made three three-point field goals last evening. He's been a little short this evening with his efforts. That was a tough one right there, too, because his momentum was taking him backwards, so he catches that ball, and he has to really get deep into those legs to slow the momentum down and then get vertical. He's not really able to get that momentum going toward the basket. As we talked about last night, he had an ankle problem, and that helps throw off your shot a bit, too. Here's Collins into the lane, short, Burke rebounds. It goes right up and scores. Billy Burke has points six and seven. Burke was setting a screen right there to get Collins open, and what happened was on the shot, he had good position, so he was just able to keep the defender on his back to get the offensive board. Trevick Burke was headed for the rim, and he will draw foul five of the quarter, which should put him at the free throw line. Yeah, the shot doesn't count, but I really like the take there from Burke showing off a little acrobatic skills. Looking to see who they assessed the foul to. That's point six tonight for Trevick Berkey. They gave it to Billy Burke, and that was number two against Burke. Oh, they actually changed it to Neiman. Okay, okay. Yeah. Good, good find. Goldsberry rebounds, goes up under contact, gets his own rebound, and goes up again. Good fight, Alex Goldsberry, and he'll get to go to the free throw line. More Web Insurance Agency free throws. Shawnee fighting hard. LCC without the presence of Carson Parker. Not that the other guys can't pick up slack, but Carson Parker just such an influence on defense for LCC. Without back. that, the Indians able to crash and get some offensive boards. Back-to-back -back Jake Neiman free throws. 
Alex Goldsberry has four points after making both free throws. One point game, T-Birds. Damar Foster. Going to accept a screen. Four high look, double screen for Foster. Kick out. Parker Judy for three. Collins got rid out by Tate Bender. Our instant replays that are brought to you by Four Season Tees, offering over 750 high-definition championship pro courses. Book your tee time today at 567-712-2040. That would be Tate Bender's second foul, his team's second of the quarter. Willie Foster trying to get to the rim and could not. Here's Collins going to the rim, and he shot it a little bit hard. And then he gets called for a foul and a rebound. Good take to the basket. Mm. The Indians a little slow to help. You'll see right here, he gets inside. And just an easy lane to the rim, but not able to finish. And then Berkey draws the foul, and two more free throws coming up for Shawnee. To the free throw line will go Beckett Berkey. He is six for six tonight. And he will get the bonus opportunity, the two-shot foul situation. These will be free throws 13 and 14 for Shawnee in the quarter. Yet somehow still just tied at 29. They are currently 10 of 13 from the free throw line in this quarter. And they were four for four in the first half, so the free throw line is doing them well. And yet another one. That's 12 for Berkey. And his team takes a one-point lead under three, third quarter. LCC into a horn set. Willie Johnson, what a shot. Smooth. Pretty simple look. They just bring two bigs to both elbows and... Willie Foster just runs across both of them as if it's a double screen and finds himself open in the mid-range. Beckett Berkey gets a three look. Parker Judy runs the ball down in the corner. Good hustle by Bender to cut off that drive. Jake Neiman will bring it back out front. And he goes to the rim, and what are we going to get? Offensive foul. Beckett Berkey takes a charge, and Jake Neiman picks up foul three. Yeah, Berkey read that all the way, slid in there, got his feet set just in time to take the contact and draw the foul. 31-30 LCC on our scoreboard, which is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lyme, Mawapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. That's Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Little mop-up action. Here's Coach Sean Powell. State championship three seasons ago at Botkins. Forget the state championship. Look at the shoes. Oh, I know you're He's a shoe guy, Jordan aren't you? Jordan 11 yeah. lows, the cherry red. The staff has the OG Jordan 1s, 1985. Mm. I keep forgetting you're the shoe guru here at WOSN. Uh, I keep forgetting you wear Skechers, so. No, I don't. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I do, but. <laughs> Pass down inside and scramble for it. And I think a T-Bird was diving out of bounds trying to make a save. Good hustle by Billy Burke. Yeah. Down there on the baseline. It'll stay with Shawnee. Still trailing by one, although they've played really well here in the third quarter. Just one field goal in the quarter. And that, that they have 13 points, and Collins gets that rebound after it bounces. I don't think Burke, he was used to uncontested layups at the rim. That was a really nice defensive job by Tate Bender, Evan. It was. It was kind of a confusing play because it looked like Bender was able to knock the ball free from Willie Foster, who then grabbed it, which means it wouldn't be a travel. But the referee seemed to think that the ball was still tucked away, still had possession, and that's a fair call, too, yeah, it was. right here on the baseline. I don't mind it, and I'm certainly not challenging the referee. But either way, I think – Foster thought that he'd be able to land there without issue. There's a collision between, yeah, Goldsberry's down. He got whacked in the face on that screen he set. The three misses, battle for the rebound. And we still have Alex Goldsberry at midcourt, and he took a whack in the face 
Here's the rebound battle, and battle is a pretty good term, right, I think, for that one. Yeah, it is. Going back to that screen, though, as a defense, you have to communicate when you're with your guys when there's a screen. That was kind of a blindside block. I mean, it was, a fair, it was a good screen, don't get me wrong, but when you can't see it coming and no one tells you, that's a really tough one to take. Burke with a block shot and a rebound. Damar Foster. One point game, approaching a minute to go in the third quarter. High ball screen. Foster just nailed a three ball, did Damar his ninth point. A 20th century lane three point field goal. Shawnee. Half, I was looking right through him. Evan saw Coach Triple. He just dropped his shoulders when the ball left his hands. He knew it was good. Swooping in, grabbing the rebound. Styles. Trevor Berkey tries to hand it off to his brother and traveled. Ooh. Well, going back to that last possession, actually, we're going to get a look at the replay here. Berkey comes in and. Right. Call for the travel. But oh, Joe on that enters. last possession for LCC, they ran a high ball screen, and what happened was Shawnee ended up switching, and the slower Alex Goldberry, I'm not calling him slow, I'm saying he is slower than the other defender, was not able to keep up with Foster. He just took a step back and drained the three. You have to give up a little bit of space when your opponent's quicker than you, and they took advantage. With a four-point lead, LCC will play last shot of quarter number three. They led by three at the break, 2017. They've got a four-point lead now and would like to extend it. Fouls to give for Shawnee here, so they can foul. And that's what you got right there. Have a good call. Tate Bender picked up foul three to come out and disrupt that play. Coach Powell looking over to Coach Triplett saying, you're taking advantage of that new rule. Smiling. Everyone trying to figure out how to Work around these new free throw rules. They can foul again if they want. Just make sure the right guy does it. <laughs> there it goes because he was headed to the rim and Beckett Brookie just reached out and grabbed him. That will be his second foul. Team's fourth, and with 4.1, we take it out of bounds. Carson Parker is in the game with three fouls, but certainly because they're on offense here to end the quarter. See what kind of set they run here right at the end of the quarter. DeMar Foster gets it blocked. Nice defense How right about there. about Alex Goldsberry? And after 24 minutes, we're going to go to the break with LCC up 34-30. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at the United Fieldhouse. Our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Lee Samus Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. That's Lee's famous recipe chicken where home style happens here. You know, Evan, it looked like Sean, you had a great quarter, and they ended up being down one more point than they were at the end of the three of two quarters. Yeah, offensively, Shawnee playing much better working against this defense. But remember, Carson Parker was out of the game for most of that third quarter with three fouls. And so they're able to get some good looks offensively. But LCC doing a nice job on their offensive end, getting buckets, answering the call, and also hitting a couple big threes to keep this four-point lead. This is going to be a really fantastic fourth quarter as both teams really starting to find their rhythm. I think LCC was 11 of 14 in the quarter. Excuse me, Shawnee was 11 of 14 from the quarter and are, are now uh, 15 of 18 from the game at the free throw line, and that has held them in this. That means that uh, Trevor Berkey has six, Beckett Berkey has 12 of their uh, points that they have, 30 on the board. Willie Foster has nine. And DeMar Foster has seven, along with Billy Burke has seven for the 34 that you see from Lima Central Catholic. LCC basketball to start the quarter. They did not shoot a free throw in the quarter, and they're three for seven in the basketball game from the free throw line. Angelo Collins goes to the rim. He challenges Alex Goldsberry and draws a foul and scores. It was good help from Goldsberry sliding over, but if he just goes straight up, it's no foul right there. He brings that right hand down and fouls Jake Neiman as he gets to the basket. And so two free throws, or excuse me, one free throw coming up, almost able to avoid that shooting foul. 
A Web Insurance Agency a free throw. Serving downtown Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Makes the free throw. He's got six points in the game. Last night he had six points, four rebounds, and three uh, assists in the basketball game. One of the souvenir balls came rolling onto the court. Yeah, Johnny I heard. wanted to stop. Berkey spins in the lane, can't finish. I heard they gave what they had a thousand of those to give out tonight, and I went, oh no. I didn't get one of them. Because if only one of them makes it on the court, that will be a miracle. <laughs> LCC with a seven point lead. Burke down inside, triple team, and they get it away from him. Dominic Lynch got it. Need better communication right there. Trevick Berkey came in from underneath, kind of a Gary Payton looking defensive play. An offensive foul called on Noonan. Or excuse me, that's Lynch. Yeah. Dominic Lynch picks up his fourth foul in the team's second of the quarter. We're 63 seconds into it. Back to that defensive possession for Shawnee. A lot of times we used to see Gary Payton, the glove, do that mm. for Seattle back in the day where he would come across the baseline to someone posting up. No one would see him coming, and he knocked that ball away from behind. You always have to be heads up, and you have to communicate with your teammates if you see someone coming baseline. Each team has four Metzger Financial Services timeouts remaining. As we're in the final eight minutes, at least of regulation this evening. Foster pull-up jumper. Rebound Beckett Berkey. He's in a hurry the other way. Dominic Lynch. Pichon works the lane. He gets it stripped away. And picked up inside and scoring. I think that was Alex, Alex Goldsberry. He's got six in the game. Ball just rolled right to his feet. He was able to pick it up and go up for the score with everyone on the ground. If you play hard, the ball will find you sometimes. Six points for Alex Goldsberry. His team trails by five. Here's Collins for three. And rebound to Lynch. Collins not able to make Shawnee pay for the weak screen coverage. Gave him a little bit of space, but not able to convert. Three ball, Pashone. Lynch rebounds, just out jumped everybody. Goes to the rim and draws contact from Billy Burke. It's number three against Burke. We're going to get a look at the offensive rebound here. Oh, but we got a tee. Coach Powell picked up a tee. His, his staff was trying to hold him back. Well, he's irritated because he says he was yelling at his own player right yes. there. The referee took it as though he was getting yelled at, and he called the foul on Coach Powell. That's what made him so irritated. Well, this is going to be huge, Evan, because Lynch is going to get a couple of free throws on the foul, and then they're going to get a couple free throws for the, the technical. Then they're going to get the ball out of bounds. And trailing by five, that's huge. Here's Lynch. Misses the first. He does. Dominic is four for seven at the free throw line tonight. Your shot number eight coming up. And you can't see it on camera right now, but Carson Parker, the leader of this team, just brought everyone into a huddle. I don't know exactly what he said, but I have to imagine it's something along the lines of let's pick up coach, let's finish strong, let's get out of here with a win. So there are our two free throws for the foul that occurred. Now, Beckett Berkey will go to the free throw line to shoot the two technical fouls. Getting something wipe up, wiped up off the floor out there. Berkey is uh, perfect this evening at the free throw line. And continues that way. 13 points now for Beckett. He's got uh, nine of those at the free throw line. He's looking to be a perfect 10 for 10. Which he does. And now they get the basketball out of bounds. And, uh, you know, the other negative about this, if you're Lima Central Catholic, Coach Powell is not allowed to stand up to coach now. And that, that can be, a, you know, it's, it's a negative. It's a, diff difficult to communicate with your team. And now we're going to have some discussion at the scores table. I'm not sure what the fans are worked up about, yeah. but I like it. I love this kind of atmosphere. Some people getting fired up. Shawnee fans on their feet. LCC fans on their feet. 
Parker almost making a steal. Lynch had a look at it and turned it down. His team trails by two. And Lynch picked up his dribble and to call a timeout. So Shawnee is forced to take a Metzger Financial Services timeout, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit Metzger Financial Services. Back in a moment, you're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. Our timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. And, Evan, the atmosphere in the gym has changed. Yeah, everyone getting a little bit fired up. A technical foul called on Coach Sean Powell of LCC. And the LCC fan's not happy with it because they – believe that Coach Powell was yelling at one of his players, not the referee, but either way, Shawnee with three points on four field goals following that mess, and now they have the basketball trying to at least tie this ball game. Bob way to the backcourt to Trevick Berkey. Shawnee has burned two of their five timeouts. LCC has used just one of theirs. Goldsberry lobs down inside. Muscle up inside, Berkey. Parker did a good job and then rebounded it. Collins gets a three look. And it's getting a little bit frantic in here. Here's Beckett, Berkey to the rim and finishes and scores and draws one. My goodness, what a turn of events there. LCC with an open look at three and then the Shawnee leader Beckett, Berkey getting into the Paint going up against Billy Burke, absorbing contact, drawing the foul. Burke now with three fouls, LCC with four total. That's actually his fourth. They, did, they just now put it up on the board. So Billy Burke has four fouls. What did I tell you about correcting me? <laughs> I forgot, Professor, my bad. <laughs> with 17 points, Beckett Burke to the free throw line. Well, I should have said 17, but he made that. Now he has 17, and 11. Shawnee takes a lead. 11 for 11, if my calculations are correct. How about that? And Shawnee's going to play zone. First Seems time. To be a staple of the Shawnee defense, a 1 2 2 zone with a man high, making it tough to reverse the basketball. They've got the lead here, so they're content with LCC waiting patiently. They're going to set up their zone look. And well, while we're looking at this patient offense, this quarter, fourth quarter is sponsored by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. That shot missed. Rebound. Carson Parker finished it. Good read on the rebound by Carson Parker. Saw the ball in the air, went from left to right into the spot where he thought it would come, and it did. It gives LCC the lead back. 39-38, Parker has four points in the basketball game. And that's slapped away. Here comes DeMar Foster to the rim. Blocked, Collins rebounds. Collins again, and Lynch makes a play. Did he bounce it off a T-Bird? Referee's gonna chat. Yeah, he threw it back in. He missed the T-Bird he was trying to bounce it off of. Hustle play by Lynch, but it'll stay with the T-Birds. Good job by the crew right there. It was. It's really tough to referee when the atmosphere gets like that, but they did a nice job coming together making sure they made the right call. They're going to stay in that 3-2 zone, and Carson Parker drops a three ball on him. A 20th century lane three-point field goal. And a product of that technical foul, Coach Powell on the bench. He wanted a timeout there, but he wasn't able to get up and go tell the referee so they don't get the timeout and play continues. That's how you break a zone. Now Shawnee's down four. Pichon trying to get to the rim. Rolls it off the rim, and it won't go. The rebound to Willie Foster. Now the question is, will Shawnee stay in this zone or go back to man with the lead? Stay in the zone for right now. With a four-point lead, yeah, we'll see how long they choose to play with this. We're under three. Now they're matched up. 
Three-point sponsor tonight is 20th Century Lanes. There's something for everyone at 20th Century Lanes. The rim and not being able to score, but drawing contact will be Jamar, Damar Foster. I didn't see who the call was on. Good job by Foster getting inside, though. Drawing some contact. Foster so far this evening, nine points. Tamar Foster to the free throw line, and it bounces and bounces and bounces and won't go. Free throws are sponsored by Webb Insurance Agency tonight. Seven points in the game, Tamar Foster trying to extend the lead to five. That one doesn't go, and it's tipped out of bounds, I think by Collins, he got a long arm on it. And Whacked it out of bounds with 2.44 to go. Shawnee had a nice run following a technical foul, but LCC answered a lot of that because of Carson Parker's work. Yeah, he doesn't have a ton of points in this one. Seven's not bad, but it's been the defensive effort for him. And he just made Beckett Burke really hard to score. Burke's got eight, 18 and 19. And then we get a Shawnee timeout. Timeout's brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. You're watching High School Basketball, WOSN. We're back at Elida. Our three-point sponsor tonight has been 20th Century Lanes. There's something for everyone at 20th Century Lanes, a proud supporter of Lima Area Athletics. Shawnee has used their third timeout, LCC, Still has four remaining on the board that they can use. And Beckett Berkey just made a really nice move to the goal under pressure. Yeah, he really did. I, I've been really impressed with the way he's worked. It's been tough to come by points for him, but he still has 19 of them. Definitely not indicative of the type of defense Carson Parker has employed here tonight. But nonetheless, the leader of the Shawnee Indians, Beckett Berkey, doing everything he can to keep his team in this offensively and defensively. Our presenting sponsor tonight has been State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial services needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. After the Berkey timeout, Coach Triplett took the, or the basket. Coach Triplett took the timeout, and they are going to go man to man. Looks like now. Let's see how switched to yeah. zone when they had the lead. And then that last possession, they started in zone, and when LCC was taking their time, they switched to man. Shawnee has three fouls in the quarter. Central Catholic has four. So the Indians do have one to give should they choose to do so. Damar Foster, Trevick Berkey trying to keep up with him. It's going to be tough to draw a five-second call against a guy, a guy as quick as Damar Foster is. He's working and working and working, tries to get in the lane. Collins goes baseline and kick out. This is Willie Foster. That would have been a huge three. Instead, the rebound comes to Alex Goldsberry, and Shawnee with a time chance to tie or take the lead. Strong rebound, too. Good job by Goldsberry. That was. Lynch working the baseline and throws it out to Nick Pashon. It went off of Nick's hands under defensive pressure for an over the back call. Over and back call. Because the ball went so far, it becomes a baseline out of bounds for LCC right in front of us. Yeah. Here comes, the, comes Billy Burke back in the game, too. So Burke inside. Damar Foster will be the trigger man. And we are going to get a Metzger Financial Services. This one called by Lima Central Catholic. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. Tonight's instant replay has been brought to you by Four Season Tees, offering over 750 high-definition championship pro courses. Book your tee time today at 567-712-2040. Sean and Evan Skilleter here. You know, Evan, it's a little bit early to just to pull it out and say we're not going to try to score anymore. But likewise, for you, I'm a Central Catholic. You, you know, you don't want to get anything if you take in a hurry. 
Well, and the thing they have going for them is they have two really quick guards that it's tough to dispossess, right? So they can dribble around a little bit up top. They're doing a nice job finding separation. So Shawnee really struggling to get a five-second call, even get, get it close to five seconds. So Shawnee's best bet right here is to take away this inbounds pass. They do have a foul to give as well. By a quick look, I, uh, inbounds pressure. LCC is just... Collins pulls up jumper, big basket for him. Gutsy shot right there, dribbling right into the defense. He's got eight points all in the second half. Berkey to the rim and can't finish. Tips to Goldsberry. Once again, Alex in the right spot. Another nice take from Berkey. And as he gets older and stronger, that ball's going to start finding the bottom of the rim. He does a great job finding space to get to the basket. But as a sophomore, a little bit small in terms of uh, the, the width of the shoulders and the upper body, lower body strength. But I know that's something he works on every single day and something that will improve throughout his time. Here's Alex Goldsberry. He's got six points in the basketball game. He's going to get a pair of free throws with a minute six to go. Big free throws here for Goldsberry. Six points so far this evening. 6'3", senior. Nailed it. If it comes down to it, Evan, I have LCC just four of ten from the free throw line. Now, sometimes I get a little distracted from the game itself, but they have not shot the ball particularly well tonight, and Shawnee, on the other hand, has. Makes them both two-point game. Pashon matched up with Foster, with Willie Foster. They're going to try to trap. Almost able to come over for the steal. DeMar works the lane and backs it out wisely. Heady senior play, and he's going to be fouled by Tate Bender. Now, Tate has four fouls. That's and four that is the Andrews. team's fourth. Thank you, Evan. wonder how long they'll wait here before committing that fifth foul to send LCC to the line. But that's what's different about this year. That foul is going to send them to the line for two rather than a one and one. So they're guaranteed a second shot, make or miss. These two teams will play again on the 28th of this month at Lima Central Catholic. Nice late Christmas present if you're a basketball fan, especially a fan of defense. Shawnee has home games next week, Crestview and St. Henry. Lima Central Catholic has Allen East at home, and we'll go to Salina, and we're going to get a Sean Powell timeout. Timeout WSN as well. That, you're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Tonight's presenting sponsor is the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Any foul from here on out will be a two-shot foul. Foster to inbounds. And gets it into the backcourt to his brother. Willie Foster, basketball. Both of them with nine points. It's a good move because Lynch has got four fouls. He can't foul. Thought about it. This is layup and free throw time now if you're... An LCC T-Bird, there's a foul that will put uh, Jake Naiman to the free throw line where he is one for two this evening. That foul was assessed to Trevick Berkey, his third. Shawnee stays in it with that miss. 25.6. Coach Triplett is talking to the official, Clay Ehrman. He wants a timeout. I think if we'll see how this goes. He's going to want a timeout quickly. He's signaling so to the official. Second one. That one was hard. And when's he going to get the timeout? Right now. 19.8 seconds to go. It's a two-point game. And again, Evan, uh, not necessarily laying it here on Jake Neiman, but it's been a struggle from the free throw line this evening for LCC, and Shawnee's made a bunch of points there this evening. Yeah, and Shawnee really has the whole playbook to use here on this sideline out of bounds. They dribble it to half court, so they get a look 
from the sideline. Coach Triplett gets to draw something up or call something they already have in the bag. But he's got a couple options he can go to as well. So it'll be interesting to see what the Indians come out and do. I'm sure they're going to want to take a quick shot in case they miss it. But like I said, a lot of different options that the Indians have. Any foul by LCC will put Shawnee to the free throw line. Pretty good opening weekend for high school basketball in WSN, isn't it? Oh, tell me about it. It's been it's been fantastic. It's good to have hoops back. I love football. I love fall sports. Yep. Soccer's great. Everything about fall is awesome, but it doesn't get much better than sitting courtside in the field house to kick off the basketball season. Well, you know, they'd love to get the hand the, the ball into the hands of Beckett Berkey, but you also know LCC is going to do whatever they can to keep the ball out of his hand. So the wheels turn here. Shawnee has a single timeout remaining. LCC has two. If I'm Shawnee, I'm going to get the ball in. I'm going to attack right away here, try to draw a foul on the attack. Well, they're going to draw something up here, taking a little bit of time. Here it is. Beckett Berkey is going to head to the rim against Carson Parker, who stripped it loose. Carson Parker heads down the lane, goes to the rim, and scores and finishes it. And it comes down to the leader, Carson Parker, stripping the ball away from Berkey, getting past Pashone, who was trying to foul him at half court. Not only that, getting to the rim, absorbing the contact, finishing at the rim, and LCC will leave this gym with a holiday, or with a tip-off classic championship. Parker's free throw gives him 10 points in the game. Pushes the lead to 47-42. And this one will come to an end. The Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds will take the 35th championship here at the Elida Tip-Off Classic. It's a 47-42 win. We're going to be back with postgame right after this. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back at the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse, the 35th annual tip-off classic has gone on the way of the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds 47-42. Our first point of business to pass out our Stolly Hustle Insurance Award winner this evening. Check out tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner highlights on WSN YouTube page. Evan, we, we didn't take long to vote on this one. There was one guy really stood out for us this evening and that was LCC's Carson Parker. I don't know what to start with with Carson Parker tonight. He scored 10 points. He had five rebounds. He had three assists. He had two steals. He didn't turn the ball over one time. He held Beckett Berkey to 3 of 14 from the field defensively. A fantastic effort all around for Carson Parker. But my favorite thing that happened with Carson Parker this evening is that when Coach Powell got that technical foul, Carson Parker brought his team into a huddle, encouraged everyone, told them, we, well, I don't know exactly what he told them, <laughs> but presumably told them we need to finish strong, we need to pick up our coach, we need to pick up each other, and we need to win this basketball game. And LCC did exactly that. Carson Parker seals the deal with a strip at the end of the game with a layup, a foul, made his free throw. What a fantastic game for Carson Parker and the LCC T-Birds. What a fantastic game viewers on WOSN got to witness tonight. So the Shawnee Indians will drop to 1-1 one one on the season. They had quarter scores of 6, 11, 13, and 12 for their 42 points. They were letting scoring by Beckett Berkey with 19-8 for Alex Goldberry, and they really competed tonight with, with the LCC. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll tell you what, the, the story of this game, too, you look at the turnovers, LCC turned it over 13 times, but they forced 18 turnovers, right? So they win that battle as well in a very close game, a third quarter in which Shawnee was fouled and went to the free throw line about 12 to 15 times. But LCC still able to withstand that pressure and do a great job offensively getting the buckets they needed to hold off this really good Indians team. LCC will go to 2-0 and on the season. Their quarter scores were 10, 10, 14, and 13 for their 47 points, and they will be the champions this evening. I want to thank our sponsors this evening. That would be Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Four Season Teas, Little State Bank, Metzger Financial Services, 20th Century Lanes, Web Insurance Agency, and Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, along with Stolly Insurance, pre presenting our Hustle Award winner. Evan, great way to open the season, right? Man, I am so excited for this winter, that? and this definitely gets me fired up for hoops all winter long. I want to thank the athletic director, Dave Evans, who always does a masterful job putting things together here. I want to thank our crew together. 
Wayne Getz, uh, Derek Henry, Kelsey Beimer did all the work tonight along with Jennifer Beck. Thank you, Evan Skilleter as well. LCC 47, Shawnee 42 to finish the tip-off classic. You've been watching high school tournament basketball on WOSN.